Hey everybody, like, comment, subscribe, please share the video, especially if you love college football as much as I do. Here we go, the, the probably the second biggest game of the year for Florida State. Florida State versus Miami, at Miami this year. Last year, um, it was a very close game. Miami was the better team last year, but they had turnovers early where Florida State was able to hold on and win. They actually came back to beat Miami. They had a two-score lead over the Canes at one point, and then Miami stormed back and scored unanswered touchdowns, like two or three of them. And then Florida State came back, kicked the field goal on one drive, and then the next drive they scored a touchdown, got a two-point conversion, and ended up winning the game. So this year, Miami's having a hard year, and I'm not here to bash Miami. This is a completely unbiased. I'm a Florida State fan, but this is a completely unbiased prediction video. I'm not gonna trash talk Miami in this video or say how great Florida State is or anything like that. Miami is having a rough year. I don't wanna say it's Crystal Ball's, Crystal Ball's fault. It's his first year, he's, this is, you know, things happen with first year coaches. Mike Norvell had a rough first year. He's not even having a perfect year now, but obviously a big leap from his first year to his third year now. And, but they're having a hard time simply because it's his first year. I think maybe the system he's working isn't he uses isn't working very well. Maybe it's a, a culture change thing, but either way, they're having a rough year. They're not very good offensively. They have a lot of produ production on offense with Van Dyke if he's playing, but they're not able to, to sustain drives without turning the ball over, and that's very hurtful if you're a Hurricane fan. And they're four and four. They lost to Texas A&M, who's bad right now. They've lost to uh, uh, Middle Tennessee, which was embarrassing at home. They've lost to uh, Duke. Duke's pretty good this year. They're a winning team, so I'm not going to bash you about that, but the way they lost with all the turnovers. Um, Miami's defense, not terrible, I would say, but not very good either. They've given up some explosive plays here and there, and guess who leads the country in explosive plays offensively? Florida State. Guess who runs the football very well? Florida State. Guess whose quarterback is having a really good year? Florida State. Jordan Travis. And even if he were to get hurt in this game, knock on wood, I hope he doesn't. I have a lot of faith in um, Tate Rodemaker with the way he played at Louisville, also another hostile environment. So if he were to get hurt, hopefully, again, knock on wood, I hope Tyler Van Dyke or Garcia, whoever plays QB for Miami, does not get hurt, knock on wood again. I do think that Florida State is the better team this year. They're not perfect again. They do have a lot of penalties in some of their games, most notably Wake Forest. And, and last this past game with Georgia Tech, they had a lot of penalties, self-inflicted wounds. You can't do that if you're Florida State playing Miami, if you really want to dominate this game. I think Florida State should dominate the game, but it's a rivalry, so it's probably not going to be a one-sided game all the way. I just think Florida State's running game is going to be too much for Miami for four quarters. I think Miami can slow down Florida State's run game for the first half, hold them to 40, 50 yards. I really do think they can. Their defensive line is very physical. They do get sacks, but I just don't think they can do it for four quarters. And Florida State's offense, even without running the football, Jordan Travis, you still got to bottle him up, which I don't think they can do for four quarters. And he, and, he can, and he's very explosive throwing the football downfield. I don't think Miami secondary can shut down Johnny Wilson for four quarters. I don't think they can shut down any of Florida State's receivers for four quarters. And I don't think Florida, I mean, Miami's offense, even though Florida State's defense is not great this year, it's been kind of disappointing. I don't think they can sustain enough drives to win the game. With that being said, my score prediction. I have Florida State winning this game 34-17 to 17 over Miami. I think it's going to be competitive for three quarters. Again, Florida State's not a great team. They're a pretty good team, but they're not great. So I don't think they're going to blow Miami out of the water from start to finish. But they should win this game because Miami's having a hard year. So, again, Miami, I don't see a case scenario where Miami can win this game. So I'm not going to make a video on that. Sorry, Kane.